so I understand. Thing. We don't forget to do that. So today we are here to talk with Karen Ferreira. I hope I pronounced the last name right. I got the first name right this time. All you right. Did it beautifully. <laughs> and we are talking about writing a children's book, but not only writing a children's book, how to get through the procrastination, the steps, and then beyond that. So um, I've asked people to put in the chat where they are in the process. We've got people all along waiting for illustrations, still writing it in their head, thinking about it, wrote one nine years ago. You know what? I'm glad you said that, and I'm glad you're here because I am a true believer that our education and the author world never stops. So whether this is you're just thinking about going or whether you've already published, like the publishing world and industry changes all the time. And it's it's really important to continue your professional development. So this is great. Um, yes, Sharon, this session is just about children's books. So um if you do not want to learn about writing a children's books, we love you. We are glad that you showed up today. I know some of you registered for the whole webinar series. So if that's not your jam, you're excused if you don't want to hang out with us for this, um, this entire thing. So um, don't worry if you have to jump off early. The recording will go out. Everybody will have access to the recording. Okay, so lots of people here in all kinds of phases of the process. So let me tell you a little bit about Karen. Karen. I got it right the first time. Karen Barrera is an award-winning creative director, illustrator, philanthropist, and founder and CEO of Get Your Book Illustrations and Children's Book Mastery. She helps self-publishing authors get amazing, affordable illustrations and also provides them with the know-how to succeed in the industry with the yearly online children's book mastery conference courses and author challenges. It is her mission to assist any indie children's book authors to win on every step of the journey from writing through publishing through promotion and marketing. She's assisted many authors to do exactly of that. She lives in South Africa with her husband and her daughter, and I can attest to her amazing illustrations because one of our clients, and this is another cool thing about the publishing world, is that you can you can work collaboratively with different organizations. So um, our um, Kelly Tills um, is a children's book publisher. She actually found out about Karin through our Women in Publishing Summit two years ago, reached out to her, had a series of books illustrated, and now we're working with... Um, with Kelly to have those launched. So, well, to have one of one of them, actually, she did other books. This is a different book. Either way, we all came together and worked together on her books and the big global picture of her books. So, any all that being said, welcome. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule. Thank you for sponsoring the summit and um, and being here as a part of our series to help our authors as they continue on in their journey. And, you know, I just, I, I love what you're doing with your entire program. I think it's so important and, and, and thanks. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. Thank you for saying my name so beautifully. You nailed it. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> okay, cool. So yeah, as you said, this is about children's books. I mean, the tips will probably help anybody who wants to write and who's struggling with procrastination, but yes, I'm very much geared to children's books. So I have a presentation for everybody. And so while I'm you're pulling go. that up, just a couple things here. If you're live with us in here, um, please make sure you use the Q&A box for questions so that we don't miss any of them at the end of the presentation. If you're watching on Facebook or later on YouTube um, or at any point in time, we'll provide contact information where you can reach out to Karin with questions and all of that good stuff. So, all right, I'm going to be quiet now and hand it over to you. No worries. Okay, great. So... Uh, as Alexa said, I'm Karen Ferreira, and we are going to be chatting about how to write a picture book without procrastination, self-doubt, or taking months, even if you've always struggled to turn your idea into a story. Because as we all know, and as we even just saw in the chat, this is the kind of thing that can kind of just go on and on forever, and the picture book never actually goes out into the world, right? So even if you've completed books, this will still have some helpful information for you, so don't run away. All right, so there's a big question that many of us have in some form or another, which is, how do you turn your idea into a story that appeals to your audience so you, that you can create a picture book that they will want on their bookshelf forever, and how do you do that without taking months or even years? Because you want to make a beautiful, engaging book, but you actually want to have fun doing it, right? And you want to get it done. You don't want to be just doing it forever and ever. So sometimes it can feel like such a mammoth task that we are exhausted before we even actually really begin. 
So this is for you if you want to write a picture book, but you haven't started yet. Or maybe you've written one or more picture books, but you never took it further than only writing the manuscript. Or you've written or even published one or more picture books, but they weren't as good as you wanted them to be. Or you've published picture books and you want to write more. Or even if you're thinking you'll never successfully write a picture book. Or if you haven't ever created one because you're not sure where to even begin. Maybe you're technologically challenged or because you're afraid of the costs quickly adding up or you don't know how to get great illustrations, which can be a big one with picture books, or how to write so that the text actually works with the illustrations, or you think there are just so many steps, it takes years, where will you find enough time? So if any of those things that I just said ring true to you, then I want you to know you are in the right place, because we are going to cover in today's presentation the five big mistakes that people make when writing or trying to write their children's books and the things that you have to avoid doing. And we're going to look at why these mistakes are so destructive. And we're going to look, of course, at some ways to avoid them or overcome these mistakes. And we're also going to look at three aspiring authors and how they went from each having no published books to publishing multiple books, including best selling and award winning books. So, how did they do it and what did they all have in common? And just so you know, at the end, there is a surprise gift that I'll be revealing that's worth over $1,000. So definitely stay tuned for that. So before I get into it, I just want to talk about why you should pay attention to what we're going to be covering. So as Alexa said, you know, I'm the founder of Children's Book Mastery and also get your book illustrations. So we help self-publishing children's book authors and even traditionally published children's book authors with all the steps from writing and creating to publishing their books, uh, depending obviously on which step they're on with all the know-how they need. So I've worked directly with well over 100 authors to help them write or to publish their books. And as Alexa mentioned, you know, I've done the Children's Book Mastery Summit, which we do every year. And in, in, it, in an illustration capacity, I've worked also on over 100 book illustration projects so I know a lot about how to create books. So in short, I am very familiar with the field of self-publishing and the traps that authors fall into. So I'm not telling you any of this to brag. I just want to give you confidence in what it is that we're going to cover together because I've seen a lot of what authors run into. So I don't really want to talk about any of that. I want to talk about what can happen when you get it right, okay? So we're going to look at these ladies, and as I said later, we're going to see how did they actually do this. So the first one is Connie Nepper, and when I met Connie in 2020, she had a dream to become a children's book author, but she was really brand new to children's books or to picture books, and she didn't know where to start. So not long after that, she published four picture books in six months and two more books within months after that. She had three number one bestsellers and over 10,000 books sold. And then case study number two is Nadine Roger. And she was also brand new. She was completely unsure of her next steps. And she completed writing a picture book manuscript. She published a beautiful book. And you can see in the top right, she got a wonderful review from Kids Book Review, which they only select certain books as eligible. And lastly, we have Jana Bachmann. She also had a dream to publish picture books and the same, she hadn't managed to complete one. She didn't really know how to get it done. So in less than one year, Jana published four picture books and a coloring book. And she's now an award-winning best-selling author with over 750 reviews on Amazon. So when it comes to writing picture books and getting those kind of results, there are five mistakes that stop people from achieving results like this. So these are the critical mistakes that I see people make over and over and over again that prevent them from successfully writing their books. So that's what I want to talk about today so that you can avoid making these mistakes when it comes to turning your idea into a story that people want on their bookshelf forever. And of course, so that you can do it without taking months or years to get it done. So let's dive right in and begin with what I call obvious but the deadly mistake number one, which is lack of a writing schedule. So as I said, it is obvious 
uh, if you don't have a schedule, you probably won't put time into writing and you will never get your book written, right? But that's true for more true for some people than others because some people need like a set schedule more than other people. But even if you're one of those people who go, you know, I could kind of just wing it on a do a bit here and do a bit there. Studies have shown that we are creatures of habit. So a large percentage of what we do in a day is repetitive. If you think about when you get up in the morning within the first hour of your day, how many things you just do out of habit. You know, so I'm not saying you're going to just kind of fall into a chair and start writing without realizing what you're doing. But if you make it a routine, it will become easier than having to like figure out every day, when am I going to write and how am I going to fit it in? So regular writing definitely leads to writing more regularly, more easily. And it's harder to start a routine than it is to keep one. So again, it's like I just said, it's like building a habit. If you write one day and then not for a few days and then you write and then you don't write and it's almost like you're starting over again and again every time and you have to think, okay, like am I going to do it today in the morning or in the afternoon? It's just way more challenging. So I said at the start, it's obvious but deadly, mistake number one. So if you're like many aspiring authors, you probably know about this mistake, but maybe you're still not making a point of making a writing schedule. So a secret that you can use to overcome this is to remove friction. So it's been found in a study that the main reason or one of the main reasons why we don't do things, especially new things that we know that we should do, is because of the friction caused by time and effort and distance. So in writing, distance isn't so much of a factor, so I'm not going to address distance, but time is certainly a big factor for many authors or aspiring authors. So if you feel like you don't have enough time, figure out where you can make 10 minutes in a day, just 10 minutes and sit down, set a timer and use those 10 minutes to write. You will actually be surprised what you can get done over a few weeks. As we know, often if you write 10 minutes, you'll write even a bit more. But even if you don't, you're going to see the time adding up and the word count starting to add up. And then if it feels like too much effort, figure out why. Do you hate typing? Then write on paper. Maybe that sounds stupid, but you know it could be that simple. Or if you hate writing on paper, then type. But, uh, you know, it, it could be deeper than that. Like maybe you sit down every time and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. or I don't know how to develop this character or there's something wrong with my story and I can't figure it out. Whatever it might be, figure out what it is. So in a case like that, go take a writing course that addresses that specific problem you're running into. Right. So whatever the thing is, that's making you feel like it's too much effort, figure it out and do whatever you can to make it easier on yourself. So that it can obviously be many things that can cause too much effort. So this one, I can't give you like a cookie cutter answer, but if you can make it easier on yourself, it will just make it so much easier to sit down and actually write. Okay, mistake number two is no practice. So this one might be a little bit less obvious, but a lot of us already know that practice is important. Um, so, you know, we have this quote, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. So the reality is you can't get good at something without practice. And, um, you know, most of us know this, but for some reason, when it comes to writing, there's still this prevalent idea that it's more about inspiration than perspiration. So I do understand the passion that you have for your stories. I understand having this story inside of you and you want to get it out and you want to share it with the world. And I always say, do it, but do the stories justice. And the way that you do them justice is you practice first. So some of you might be wondering, well, how do I do that? If I have this story that I really want to share with the world, but now how do I practice when you know, I want to write the story. So um, the, the way that you can overcome that is just write about anything or almost anything. So you don't have to write about something you absolutely don't want to write about, but write about like make a list of 50 ideas or 20 ideas and pick one a day and write 500 to 1000 words about it. 
you know, that's the great thing about picture books and the terrible thing. But in this case, the great thing, it's such a low word count. You can sit down and just write one full practice manuscript in a very, very short time. So you can also practice these, sorry, edit these practice stories. Um, because, you, you know, if you really want to create a good manuscript, you have to get really good at revision or self-editing. So see how much you can improve them. I mean, maybe some of them turn into something amazing that you can publish, but don't do it from a standpoint of trying to publish it. Just practice to get better. That should be your aim, to get really good. And you're going to start finding, you know, where sometimes you're trying to find the words to get something to sound a certain way or to get a certain message across, but we struggle to find those words. The more you practice, you're going to start finding that you can actually express the message the way that you really want to. Okay, so mistake number three is trying to go it alone. So for those of you who attended uh, my Children's Book Mastery Summit, possibly, I don't know if any of you did, um, in the summit, what I do is I ask every guest speaker, what would be your top tip to help children's book authors succeed? So that's the last question I ask every person. And at the end of last year, when we did it, I was surprised by how many of the speakers said, and I'm going to quote them directly here. So join a writer's group that supports and encourages you. Surround yourself with like-minded people. Find a tribe have a community of people, collaborate with others. I'm sure one of these or uh, probably quoting Alexa, I might be wrong, but I think so. Okay, so basically, do I need to add anything? You know, um, it's really, uh, you know, it was just this prevalent advice that people were saying, you know, get that group, get that support. And uh, being an author really can feel very isolated we all need help or support sometimes, even if you're the kind of person who, who does most things or likes to do most things by yourself. We all need someone to cheer us on or to um, support us at times. So I'll basically just give you the same advice as so many of the successful speakers on my summit gave, gave which is just join a group. OK, so it can be a local group that meets in person or it can be an online group. Just make sure it's an active group because sometimes even local groups are inactive. But um, of course, online, sometimes you can join a group and then find they never actually do anything. They never meet, they, they're not active. And then make sure it's uplifting. So you don't want a group that makes you feel demotivated or like you can't do it, or you want a group that actually makes you feel like you can do it and you can keep going and that helps you to keep going. Okay, mistake number four is no feedback or critiques. So I do know that feedback can be scary, especially if you're brand new. It can be very scary to give your manuscript to someone else asking, basically, tell me what's wrong with it, right? But it really can be a game changer. You need other eyes on your book. Other people will see things that you don't see. It doesn't matter how good you are. Other people will still see things that you don't see. So I always suggest to work with others who are writing in your genre. So um, if you are writing picture books, you don't want to work with an adult horror or romance writer um, for the simple reason that they are not focused on honing their picture book craft, right? Which brings us to work with others who are also putting in time to learn the craft. If you're here on this webinar, I'm assuming it's because you want to learn. So work with others who also want to learn, who want to improve or are working at getting better. Because if you work with someone who's not doing anything to learn the craft, you're going to find yourself improving and the distance between you and them or the gap between you and them will keep growing as you improve and they don't improve, right? So very soon you'll find they probably can't give you valuable input. So you don't have to be doing the same courses as them but you should, they should be doing something to improve as you should be doing something to improve. Which brings us to mistake number five, which is no training or guidance. So that is also one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make is just kind of going for it without any training or guidance. So it is a big proven rule for success that you need the right knowledge or guidance to really do well in anything, right? So practice without knowledge is really a very slow route. You might get there eventually, 
but you might never actually get there because if you only practice, you might never realize what you're doing wrong. So maybe, you know, as important as it is to write practice manuscripts and so on, you can write 50 and make the same mistake 50 times because you don't know that you're making it, right? So anyone can write a picture book, but not anyone can write a good picture book. So as an illustrator, especially, I have seen this so often and it's really saddening to me. Um, you know, where authors approach me to get their book illustrated and they're excited and they're gonna, you know, publish the manuscript. And I understand the excitement. I mean, it's their baby, you know, I actually am excited with them. But then when I ask them to send me the manuscript for me to look at for the illustrations and I read it, the manuscript is just not good. It's badly written. And, you know, I hate saying it, but that is just the way it is. It's just the truth. And the sad thing to me is that they have no idea. They don't realize that it's not a well-written manuscript. So they don't even know there's something to fix. So what will end up happening in a case like that is if that manuscript just gets illustrated and put out into the world, they're obviously spending a lot of time and money, but then the book won't do well because it's not a good book. So, you know, it's, it's, I hate seeing that. I don't want people to put out books that aren't actually good books. So if you're going to put in the time and the effort, then put it into the writing too. So there is a lot to know about writing. Um, and, you know, because picture books have a low word count, some people think it's easy, which it's not. There's a lot to know. And that starts with getting the right knowledge and getting the right guidance. So in our industry, there are so many who have succeeded already. And so many of them are willing to share what worked. Um, you know, we have wonderful people in the publishing industry, in the children's book industry, who are willing to help um, authors and aspiring authors to learn and to do better. So I really could say a lot about the subject, but let's keep it simple. Don't figure it all out for yourself. It really is that simple. Do courses, read books, study your craft, learn how to write well, okay? And then, and this even applies obviously when you get to marketing, don't figure it out for yourself. Do courses, read books, study up how to do it well. So there is a secret that can speed up and supercharge your success on every step of the journey. So while courses and training are fantastic and you should do courses and training and read articles and all of that, there's nothing quite like having a mentor. This is someone who can guide you step by step but on the step where you're at to help you over your next hurdle, you know, so this can be one-on-one -on -one or in a group coaching setup where, you know, a whole group gets together weekly or so on to get coaching. But I really highly recommend that if you want to truly succeed as a children's book author or as any author, you get the guidance and support you need from a mentor. Because as I said, let's say you have a specific hurdle Sometimes finding the answer or the help for that hurdle can become really challenging. You can do courses and it might just not have that exact thing or answer that you need at that moment, where with a mentor, they can help you where you're at at that very moment. Okay, so let's see what can happen if you avoid these mistakes. So earlier I introduced you to Connie and Nadine and Jana, right? So I want to show you what happens when you get it right, and they are great examples of what can happen when you avoid these mistakes that I just went over. So how did they do it? So as I said earlier, uh, they were all aspiring authors without a published book, and they really wanted to write and publish picture books, but they weren't sure how to make that happen. So just the way they came into my world was they attended the 2020 Children's Book Mastery Summit, and then they did a children's book a picture book challenge with me, like a live challenge that I presented. So just as a note, I'm not saying that attending the summit and doing the challenge with me is the only way to succeed. I'm using this as an example of how they overcame the five challenges or the mistakes that I just went over, because obviously they were in my world and I could see them overcoming these mistakes. So um, 
The challenge they did with me as a note is just called the Unlock Your Picture Book Challenge. So they wrote their manuscripts on there in 21 days. And I mentioned that because they're going to refer back to that challenge. So looking at mistake number one again, lack of writing schedule. So in this case, the challenge helped them to keep a schedule. So instead of having time to sit and think about writing or whatever, they just had to actually sit down and write. And they completed their manuscript as a result. Uh, no practice, so maybe this wasn't enough time for enough practice, but they were certainly getting practice now because they were actually sitting down once again and writing, so they were improving in their writing. And then trying to go it alone. So on the challenge, they had weekly group calls, they interacted with other participants of the challenge. The great thing is they also connected up with people that they actually kept in contact with afterwards to keep on supporting them. So they kind of became part of a community where I don't think any of them were really part of any kind of author community before. So, um, you know, here's something that Connie said about not going it alone. So just as a note, I didn't ask her about any questions about not going it alone. I just asked her what helped her to do well. And I'm just going to focus on the bolded parts because uh, that's where she's talking about not going it alone. So she said, joining different children's author groups is extremely helpful throughout your entire author career. They're easy to find on Facebook and Instagram. And then she mentioned, you know, she got started on her journey on the challenge. And then she says this and working with Karen's team through Get Your Book Illustrations is where I learned how to write my first number one bestseller on Amazon. Children's Book Mastery also has a Facebook group. So she brings up three times in the short little text, basically about working with others and not going it alone. Then we did peer feedback as part of the challenge. So here's what Nadine said about it. And again, I didn't ask her about feedback. I just asked her what helped her to actually get her book done and to do well. And again, I'm just going to read the part uh, about the critique. She says, plus I loved the critique part and giving, receiving feedback from other fellow writers. Then she actually says, I've written multiple picture book manuscripts since then based on what I learned during the challenge. So you can see she also, she hadn't written them and suddenly overcoming these mistakes and being helped to just overcome these hurdles of these mistakes. She just kept writing and finished more manuscripts. And then lastly, they were definitely getting training and guidance because obviously it was a challenge. So there were daily worksheets and videos and group calls with me. So they were getting guidance. And Jana said, oh, it was so wonderful. I had no idea that I could write something so magical like my manuscript. And when I look back at my notes that were stored on my computer for a long time and compare it with my manuscript, it's amazing what has happened to them. All of this happened because of your wonderful guidance, advice, and encouragement. I can't thank you enough for your course. It was exactly what I needed to make my dream come true. So the result is we have these three published authors with best-selling and award-winning books, excellent reviews, great success. And to me, the important part is they're really as proud as they can be because they know that they published good books. And that is exactly what you want when you publish your book, right? So now you know what is possible and the mistakes to avoid. With that being said, you may still have some questions like how do I truly overcome procrastination and self-doubt? You know, when you sit down tomorrow and maybe you have some self-doubt. Um, how do I come up with an idea and turn it into an actual story? How can I be economical with the words and make my writing sing? How do I get my manuscript down to 800 or maybe even 500 words or less, depending on who you're writing for, and decide what to cut out and what to keep? How do I find out if my message will resound with the children of today? How do I successfully complete my picture book, even if everything is challenging because it's totally new? And some other common questions I see, how do I figure out what age group my book is for? How do I do character development and world building? How do I create a plot that will captivate readers? How do I write so the text works with the illustrations? How do I work with feedback? How do I get the most out of the whole editing process and putting myself out there for somebody else to critique? How do I work with an illustrator and prevent frustration for me and for them? So, you know, there are many things to know on the journey as an author and as a picture book author. 
And these are questions that we don't have time to cover on this webinar. So at this point, you have two options. You can take this information that you learned here today and you can go ahead and implement it on your own. And if you use everything that you learned, it will absolutely help you. Or if you're interested, you can join me for an opportunity to write your picture book or maybe your next picture book faster than you ever thought possible. And it will be a good quality picture book too. So because you've taken the time to attend this webinar, I want to make a very special opportunity available to you. And this is something that I did for the first time in December. And it's something very exciting and I'm very happy to share it with you. It's called the Picture Book Mastery Bootcamp. And in short, it's give me three days and follow my formula and you'll walk away with a written picture book manuscript and the tools that you need to complete your beautiful book. So this event runs for three days for about eight hours a day from the 20th to the 22nd of May. And it starts every day at 9 a.m. USA Eastern time. So let me quickly show you what it's about. So the Picture Book Mastery Bootcamp is a three-day, as I said, live online training bootcamp. It's delivered by me in real time. I'll guide you and we'll take action following my exact Picture Book Mastery Blueprint to make more progress in three days than most people make in three months or some people in three years, really. It's a Get Stuff Done event. So it's really a step-by-step -step training taking you through the entire process of creating and polishing your Picture Book Manuscript from start to finish. And just this is for you, whether you've had success with writing picture books in the past, if you've struggled with writing picture books, or if you're a complete beginner starting from scratch. I've had people with several published books, and I've had people who have never, ever written a book on the challenge and they've all on, or on the boot camp, I should say, and they've all done well. So here are a few of the attendees with their completed manuscripts. And I hosted the first boot camp, as I said, in December. And uh, a couple more since then and the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive people have been going ahead getting editing getting illustrations so people really are moving ahead and actually publishing their books which is very exciting to hear about so i just want to show you a short video on what happened on a q a session so on the boot camp i have live q a sessions where where people can ask me all the questions they have as we go through the three days and basically, this is what happened when I was getting or trying to get people's questions at that point on the boot camp, at the end of the boot camp. It's awesome. It was awesome. It was uh, very inspiring. Um, I've gotten further in this last three days than I've had in years. So, <laughs> so I appreciate that very much. You know, I've done like 14 books, only four of them been children's books. And I wish I had known the stuff that you have given. You have been so good and so thorough. Um, I, I cannot explain. Um, had I known this um, nine or 10 years ago, I, I'm serious because I write so much. I would have written about 100 children's books. I'm serious. Because it's so simple the way you have it. And I really enjoyed your class. And enjoyed it enough that at 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm awake, ready for your class. This was different and it's different in a very special way because I've been trying to write these books about my dog that is no longer here uh, for so long. And the done is better than perfect was when you said, okay, time to write right now. And I got, and it all came out and it was, it wasn't, it was emotional, but it was, it was beautiful and wonderful and fulfilling all at the same time. So thank you for just pushing us into doing that because now I'm pretty sure I won't say, oh, I have writer's block anymore, which I used to always say, yes. which is not really true. It just was pushing through some, some things. I tell you what, tell your friends, tell your enemies, <laughs> whoever you can tell that this is a very wonderful opportunity to be successful. So see you next time. I just want to say thank you too. This has been wonderful. I finally have gotten something down and written and I'm so excited about that. You made the session really fun. Um, thank you so much. I absolutely, you know, enjoyed all the whole session and, and I've been looking forward to every single day. You have made my character, which I had mm -hmm. since 2008, to come to life. So thank you so much.
it made such a difference to my story. And I just wanted to thank you so much for that, for um, encouraging us to, to take that step, um, actually to take all the steps. The course did not allow for procrastination and I love that. And um, I just look forward to other boot camps for sure. I started writing 16 years ago. It's the hardest thing ever to write as a children's book. I've spent money and time and read a thousand books. And I found your email. And then I was like, hmm. And I thought a three day book, like three months of work. No. But anyway, I tried it anyway. <laughs> I'm like, I'll be crazy. It's the beginning of the year. And I really thought, I know I wrote you this, but I really thought I was going to ask for a refund. And instead, I came in with one single idea for a book. I didn't even know. I woke up with, with the idea. I kept going, I don't know what I'm going to write, but I'm not going to work on anything I've ever worked on. I have a whole entire book <laughs> in three days. And I know it's very close to being done. So I don't know how you do this either, but you, you know, you're very, very um, skilled at it and your heart's in it. So thank you for my new book that I would have never written. <laughs> so this was beautiful. All right. So. That's how that Q&A went, which was a bit overwhelming, but I wanted to share that with you because that's what it's all about, right? That's what it's really about is to get people to actually get those manuscripts written and out there. And yes, so that's that's the game. So before the boot camp even starts, we start with a kickoff call, about a one hour call, about a week before the boot camp. And we cover picture book basics. So you have a solid foundation to write your picture book. And we come up with your idea and choose the best idea for the picture book you're going to write during the boot camp. And I'll give you a special doable assignment so that by the time you arrive for the boot camp, you're actually ready to write. And then on day one of the boot camp, you're going to find out the crucial picture book writing craft concepts that all authors need to understand. We're going to cover how to turn your idea into a, an actual story. Discover how to still successfully complete your picture book, even if everything's challenging because it's totally new. We're going to cover how to develop your character. We're going to cover how to create a plot that will captivate readers. We're going to cover how to do world building. And we're going to write your first picture book draft using our step-by-step -step formula that leaves no room for procrastination and self-doubt. And then on day two, we're going to cover how to be economical with the words and make your writing sing how to get your manuscript down to 800 words or even 500 words or less and deciding what to cut out and what to keep. Discover in-depth self-editing strategies. We're going to cover how to uh, write so that the text works with the illustrations, how to work with feedback and revise your draft, implementing all the pro strategies you discovered. So these are the kind of things that really helped Jana that we were looking at earlier to really get her amazing results. And then on day three, you're gonna find out the types of picture book layout, because of course for picture books, it's more than just text and what they look like and how to use that to plan a better book. We're gonna cover how to find out if your message will resound with the children of today. We're gonna to cover how to get the most out of the whole editing process and putting yourself out there for somebody else to critique, how to work with an illustrator and prevent frustration for you and for them. And then every day, there are several live Q&A slots where I answer all your questions. So we don't move forward with confusions or questions so that you can keep up the whole time and feel like you know what's what. So some of you are probably wondering how much. But before I explain the price, I just want to tell you about the free bonuses that come with the boot camp, because I really want to make sure you succeed. So these bonuses are geared to help you succeed all the way in self-publishing but as a note this is also if you want to traditionally publish everything in this will still help you including the boot camp okay so the first one is called self-publish like a pro 
So knowing and doing the many steps of publishing correctly is crucial to successfully reaching readers and selling copies of your book. In fact, several of the steps involved in publishing your book will make or break if readers find your book. So just a quick feedback on this course. After spending many days searching the web and gathering bits and pieces of information, we finally found everything in one place. Karen Ferreira, self-published like a pro video series. This is the most concise, complete, and most helpful place for all the information needed to do it yourself. We would highly recommend that you include Karen's series for your journey. So this includes 16 videos. It has click-by-click -click walkthroughs and tips and strategies, um, checklists for ultra easy execution, special tips to save you money when you publish, uh, links to every relevant page and tool that you need to publish your book. Then there's click-by-click -click walkthroughs of how to publish on KDP and Ingram Spark specifically, and some time-saving info like which platforms are right for which purposes and pro tips like launch strategy how to write a great book description get extra kdp categories so more people can find your book how to reach more readers maximize your book sales grow your audience all the basics like keywords and categories and what to have ready before you publish with a checklist how to price your book correctly how to check your print and ebook proofs and ensure that your book is really good to go so in short, everything you need to not just publish, but to publish like a pro. And the value of this course is $100. But when you pay for the bootcamp today, you will get the course for free. And then you might be going, I don't have an idea yet. Or I'm not sure about my idea or no problem. The next bonus will give you a jump start on that because you'll get your picture book star ticket. And the first thing in it is the no idea, no problem. So this is an idea generator that will make sure that you're never without an idea. And by the way, when you when you want to practice, this can really be a great help for lots of ideas to practice on. So then the first step to really succeed in any subject is understanding the key terms. So that might sound simple, but it's more powerful than most people realize. Understanding the key terms of a subject really can make or break your success in a subject. And that is why the starter kit includes your book and story foundation. So yeah, I have all the key terms about picture books with simple explanations, added visual examples, so that you can really get the picture book basics under your belt. And then lastly, I wanted to make things easy for you by giving you templates and checklists that you can use to plan your picture book. So this is like for your layout. And these come with brand new checklists that I created for it to help you plan an amazing book. And the value of this picture book starter kit is $80. But again, when you get the bootcamp today, you will get this for free. And then the last bonus I am very excited about, it's called the picture book Mas manuscript master plan. And this is a very complete bundle of guides and workbooks and checklists that take you step by step through writing and exhaustively self editing your manuscript. So it's a really comprehensive roadmap, taking you through every step of writing your picture book manuscript in in-depth detail, including ideas, planning and plotting, character development, story arc and character arc, thorough explanations of writing craft strategies like show, don't tell, pacing, dialogue, and much more writing craft, um, extensive pro revision strategies, word counts, and how to get it down, how to format your manuscript, how to write for illustrations, and much, much more. It's a big, fat one. So um, you'll discover how to be more audience aware and make sure you're setting the right tone for your audience, how to get the words to bring across your message, how to make your words work with images and avoid bland writing, how to know what to write and what not to write, which is so important for picture books, how to make your story concise and flowing in the few words you can use for a picture book, how to communicate your vision to the illustrator in a way that's clear and reflects what you imagine, how to keep your patience with revisions that take a while when sometimes you just want to be done with the manuscript, and really much, much more. And the value of this picture book manuscript master plan is a $460 value. But when you pay for the bootcamp today, you will also get it for free. 
So that is self-published like a pro, picture book starter kit and picture book manuscript master plan. And the value of these bonuses alone is $640. But if you sign up today, you will get it for free. So uh, the, the, to, just to recap, you can get the Picture Book Mastery Bootcamp, which is the whole three-day event, plus all the amazing bonuses. And you can get it right now, today, for only $450. So you can take advantage of this offer by going to gybi.link forward slash bootcamp or gibby.link forward slash bootcamp. And uh, if you go there and you have any questions, uh, maybe about payment or something like that, that you might not want to ask here on the Q&A, there is a live chat support. Uh, I put two yellow squares around it on the screenshot on the bottom left so you can just click on that little circle with the chat icon and there's someone there who will help you as i say if you have questions about payment or maybe technical questions or things like that so some of you might be going well why am i doing this so there are two reasons for this i mentioned earlier that i do love working with action takers and people who, and rewarding people who actually want to take action but I also do need a favor from you. When you do the bootcamp, I really want your feedback so that I can, I always use feedback to improve my trainings and to tailor my follow-up trainings to know what else you wanna learn about. And then also I wanna generate loads of success stories. I wanna have many, many people showing their manuscripts like this. So basically I want you to be my next great success story with your manuscript. So um, this is a first come first serve opportunity. Obviously I can only help so many people. We do have slots right now, but I don't have limitless slots because obviously if there are too many people, I can't help them effectively. So I would like you to take action right now. The good news is we do have a hundred percent money back guarantee. If you come today, one of the bootcamp and you're not happy, you just send literally a one line email saying I'd like a refund or whatever you want to say. No hassles, no questions asked, no hoops to jump through. We have a policy. We just refund you 100% of your money and that's it. So it's very simple. So the link again is gybi.link forward slash bootcamp. So before we go to the Q&A, I quickly want to tell you about one more very exciting thing. I mentioned a thousand plus dollar gift at the beginning. So we have this fast action early bird super bonus. And this bonus is available to anyone who takes action now while we are live on the presentation. So we are going to publish your book for you. It's called the Child's Play Publishing Package. And you simply provide your book files and details. So once your book is done, you give us all the files and we'll handle the rest and publish your book for you on KDP. So we'll provide your ISBNs and barcodes, categories and keywords, your book description, we'll upload your book to KDP, we'll check your first digital print proof from KDP, and we'll provide you with five book mockups. So I'm very briefly gonna explain each of these. So ISBNs is international standard book numbers and you need one for each format of your book. So if you have a paperback and a hardback and an ebook, you need one for each one. So you can get them for free, for instance, on KDP, but there are benefits to buying your own, which I'm not gonna go into now. So you do need one, as I said, for each format of your book. So if you buy one, it's $125. If you buy 10, which I always recommend, it's $295 but we will provide these for you. Then we'll also provide barcodes that go on the back of your book. And the categories and keywords are super important. They can really make or break if people find your book. So there's this great tool called Publisher Rocket, which costs $97. And we'll use that and our expertise to find you great keywords and categories so that your book can perform well. So people can find your book and people who are actually looking for books like yours. Then, as I mentioned, also your book description can make a very big difference to how many books you sell, because if your book catches someone's eye and they click on it and they're looking at it and the description is not good, 
then they're not going to buy the book. So we'll write you a professional book description that hooks potential buyers. Then we'll upload your book to KDP. KDP is Kindle Direct Publishing, which is the, the platform that publishes your book on Amazon. And then we'll check your first digital print proof from KDP to make sure everything looks good. So we, we can just check, you know, nothing crucial is going to be cut off or maybe you missed something that uh, doesn't look right and we'll help you catch possible mistakes. And then lastly, we'll provide you with five book mockups like you see on the screen. So these aren't real books. They are created digitally using your cover image or interior illustrations. And they're great for promotional purposes like uh, putting on Amazon or social media. So we'll create five of these for you that you can use for promotion. So we'll set up your ISBNs, get your barcodes, uh, strategically choose and set up your categories and keywords, write your pro book description, set your book up on KDP, and help you check your print proof and make you five beautiful book mockups so that you can promote your book. So in short, we will handle the publishing process for you. And the value of this bonus alone is $1,200. So when you move forward right here, right now, while we live on this presentation still today, you will get this bonus for free. Okay, so um, that is that. So if you're unsure, go jump onto the page, uh, chat to the chat if you need to. I'll obviously take some questions now. But as I said, there's really no risk because the you get you get your money back if you're not happy if you know if you arrive to the boot camp and you go this is not what I thought we can refund you so just the link again one last time g y b i dot link forward slash boot camp so then I am very happy to take some questions Let's see we do have some in the Q and A do you want to cover those do you need me to read them you want to go ahead and cover them or um, I can read them, no worries, unless you would like to jump in. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, I'm going to take one sip of water and read the first one. Okay, well, Jackie asks, um, how do you find and enlist mentors? It seems like the authors in my circle are all at similar stages as, as I am. Well, um, Jackie, um, for instance, you know, I have a coaching group um, where, you know, that, that's a mentoring thing, that's coaching. I know Alexa has a group. Uh, what's the name again, Alexa? Please forgive me. Uh, we have several. WIP school is probably that's when well. you're referring. That's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, exactly. So you get a lot like that. And I would actually re recommend something like WIP school or my group coaching for the simple reason it's generally much more affordable. Um, because it's not one-on-one, -on -one, it's more in a group setup. Um, and, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one is fantastic, but if you want to do that long-term, it can obviously become very pricey. So anyone, uh, if you start looking for children's book coaches or people who offer training for authors or for children's book authors, then you'll find people who are going to also offer mentoring or coaching. Uh, Felicia. Can these strategies be transferred to non-children's books as well? Um, Felicia, can you just put in the Q&A uh, which strategies you mean? Because I'm not sure at which point of the presentation you were referring about, like which strategies you were referring to. Um, anonymous attendee. Uh, Karen, do you actually hear the ideas or stories? If you mean on the boot camp, which I'm imagining, um, not real. I do hear some of the ideas, yes. And sometimes on the Q and A, I can help you. If, for instance, someone says, "I have this idea, but I'm not sure about this or that," then I'm happy to help on the Q and As. I don't hear all the stories on the boot camp purely because of time. Like in a three day boot camp, there's not time for me as one person. We do group feedback, and people have loved it. Like so far. The, I break them into little groups and they help each other based on my guidance and everything they've learned. And so far, that's been like some people's favorite part. So um, I do offer feedback in other capacities, but not on the bootcamp for time reasons, as I said. Uh, Lisa, will you have other dates for the bootcamp 
Also, how can we order self-publish like a pro course if we can't order the bootcamp? Other dates, uh, I would love for you to sign up for May, but if you truly can't, I will be doing it in September. What I would suggest is to sign up now um, for various reasons, like I don't know if I might put up the price or I don't know, you know. So if you sign up now and you email us at either support at childrensbookmastery.com or karen at childrensbookmastery.com, I'll put it in the chat quickly. Um, and you just say, I just signed up, but I want to come in September. We can just put you on the September list. That's not a problem. And um, what was the second part? <laughs> I forgot. Um, oh, yes. Self-publish like a pro. If you want to go to uh, the website, childrensbookmastery.com, it is on there uh, for sale. Self, Self-publish like a pro. Um, basically, on the if you land on childrensbookmastery.com, you can see everything, all our courses. Uh, Judy, what are the dates for the bootcamp again? 20 to 22 May. It's a Friday to a Sunday. I've put it over the weekend uh, because that's what most people asked for. Uh, Felicia, would this three-day bootcamp help for someone like me who is writing children's poetry books? Um, Felicia, is, is it a story, like a, a, is it a rhyming picture book that's a story, or is it poetry as in literally just a little poem? Because um, then I can answer you much better. Uh, anonymous, what are the dates? 20 to 22 May. Uh, Christine, for your bonus of publishing our book, we would need to provide all illustrations correct, but how do we find illustrators and learn what to look for? Um, Christine, um, yes, you would need to provide the illustrations and the, and the book that's completed. Um, obviously, if you want to work with my book illustration company, that's fine. I'm definitely not going to uh, tell you not to. But what I would suggest is for um, to find an illustrator, the one thing I always say, and you know, is don't go on Fiverr. This is obviously my opinion, but it's based on seeing a lot of people having a bad experience. So I would say contact my company, getyourbookillustrations.com. If for any reason you don't want to, that's obviously not a problem. Then look for, uh, on. you can look on sites like Upwork or you can ask on Facebook for people who've had illustrators that they had a wonderful experience with. And then to know who to work with, I always say two things. Obviously you're gonna look at their portfolio and make sure you see a lot of their illustrations so that you don't see like three illustrations, see more and make sure their work is consistent. Check if they've actually done books because there's a misconception that an artist and a book illustrator is the same thing. It's not. Just because someone can draw well doesn't mean they can illustrate books. There's a lot of technical stuff and how to tell a story. I can speak about this for a long time. I'm going to keep it very short. Um, so make sure they know how to do books. And lastly, chat to them like quite a bit before you hire them because um, they might draw beautifully, but maybe they can't understand you. Maybe they communicate terribly. Maybe they don't reply to your messages, that kind of thing. So find out if you really get along well, if they answer you, if they understand you, and then obviously based on your budget, then you can hire someone. So I hope that helps, a very condensed version. Uh, for, okay, so that was Christine. Okay, good. Did your three case study publishers self-publish? Um, I think they're all self-published, yes, if I remember correctly. But as I said, not, not everyone um, that I work with self-publishes, just as a note. With that bonus publishing, how do the print copies work? Um, so Beth, basically, you will have your book still created. You will, you will get the book created. That's not included in that publishing. Then we will publish the book for you on KDP, which puts it on Amazon. If you would like to also, and then Amazon can print copies for you on demand. So if you, um, if you uh, ask for, for Amazon to send you a few copies or buy a few copies from them, obviously, then they'll send it, but you could also print elsewhere. 
to answer your question. So if you want to print bulk somewhere else and print a thousand copies, you can. If you want to use a little local printer, you can. So that's completely up to you. We're just going to basically help you to get the book out there. Um, do you offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship separate from the boot camp from anonymous attendee? I don't offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship at this time because I could not keep up with one-on-one. -on -one. So I have a group coaching program. Um, it's a fairly small group, which is very nice, but that's what I'm offering right now. Uh, if you're interested to find out more, you're always welcome to email me. Um, okay, Felicia came back. It's a rhyming poetry story, one continuous story. Yes, then the boot camp will absolutely help. It will help with anything that has a plot line, if I can put it like that. So it has a story that goes over the whole book. Whether it rhymes or doesn't rhyme is just a kind of a writing craft detail, but it's just one aspect. But the boot camp will still go into everything, even touch on rhyming, but it doesn't go, we don't go deeply into rhyming, but we go into everything you need to write a really great book. And all of that applies to rhyming uh, exactly the same as it applies to non-rhyming. Same for nonfiction, uh, like creative nonfiction. Even, it even applies to that because it's still a story. Christine, what are your fees for illustrations? Christine, it really depends on um, obviously what you need. Uh, generally, I would suggest go look at the website because I'm just going to throw out a number, but I have no idea what you need. If you go look at getyourbookillustrations.com, I'm putting it in the chat for you. We have a pricing page. We have set pricing. So um, you can literally say, oh, I see. I want about 10 spread illustrations or whatever, and you can work out the price exactly, or you can book a free call with us. Um, but I would suggest that just because you know, maybe your book has 24 pages, maybe your book is 40 pages. So I would just be kind of guessing if I answer you on here, okay? Um, Amy, do we then own the ISBN or does it stay with your company? It's under um, my comp like CBM Publishing. Um, so, but it, then it becomes yours. But the thing is then it's not like, the problem is if you publish with something like a KDP ISBN, and then you want to publish elsewhere, then you need another ISBN for the same book because so then you can end up with like several ISBNs. And so now you will have one ISBN that is yours that you can use across the boards everywhere you see. Um, okay, good. And then just the time, I think someone asked about the time. It starts at 9 a.m. USA Eastern time every day, the boot camp, just as a note. Okay, good. I don't know if there are any other questions. I just answered one for you on, um, I'm assuming that everybody gets access to all your bonuses, whether they were here for the whole webinar or not, and also in the replay, right? Absolutely. If you send a random friend that does, doesn't even know about the webinar, <laughs> they will still qualify. Awesome. Um, okay. Yay. Thank you. You've got one okay. sign up for the boot camp at least. And, and, oh, yeah. and off, will you be offering the coaching program after the boot camp is over? That is correct, Hisla. If I'm saying your name right, sorry if I'm not. Hila, Hisla. Apologies if both of those are wrong. Uh, I don't see the info to the link to your illustrations. Um, so it's getyourbookillustrations.com. So it's one word, it's in the chat. I'm putting it again. Uh, oops, one word, uh, getyourbookillustrations.com. And then go to the pricing tab. If yes, you click on pricing, pricing, it'll show you all the different um, type of pricing. So yeah. yeah, we made it fixed pricing because that just simplifies it for everyone. So you don't have to worry about changes or anything like that. Um, um, how long we, is- Yeah, oh, we- Go ahead, go ahead. F, these are the last questions and then we need to wrap up this particular one. So I'm assuming you have all the answer, pre, FAQs on your website too, if they head over to that. Yeah, and I'm right. always available. My email, Karen at childrensbookmastery.com. I answer my emails if you want to reach out. Um, how long is each session? It's about eight hours. I don't guarantee an exact end time. I do try and keep it on time, but it's roughly eight. It's three eight hour days, more or less. There are breaks and the lunch. Um, Leslie, what happens if you can't attend the entire camp live? 
please email me because the problem is it depends what you might miss or what you might not miss and I can help you decide what's going to work and what's not going to work okay um Christine says singular on illustration not with the s no it's not singular it's uh, plural get your book illustrations.com <laughs> all right Thank you. Um, that looks like a fantastic program and all of the bonuses and everything included with it. Or it's really, it's a really great um, comprehensive program. So good luck to everybody who decides to join that. And thank you, of course, for the presentation and um, get your book illustrations.com. As we just said, we've got several people commenting in here that the boot camp is well worth it. I mean, you almost have me convinced to join the boot camp. And I'm like, <laughs> No, I don't need to be trying to figure out how to write a children's book right now. I have all these other things to get done, but it looks like a really phenomenal program. So again, we are so happy to be partnered with you as always and hope to continue that partnership. And again, if you're not able to do the May program, she said you could reach out about the September program. So a couple times a year so. Thank you very much, everyone. And we will send out the recording. So a couple, you can go to the Facebook page, the Women in Publishing Summit Facebook page, and you can rewatch immediately because it was broadcast live there. We will email out the link and it will be on YouTube. Um, oh, Felicia said, did anyone win the prize? Oh, you mean the publishing? I think so. If you bought yes. already, yes, you, you won the prize. Oh, everybody who bought today won the prize. Yes. Oh, wow. Amazing. Yeah. So if you haven't done it yet, you have 30 seconds. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, my. Go, oh bye. All right. Thanks, y'all. Have a great afternoon. Make sure you head over to womeninpublishingsummit.com forward slash events to see the rest of our webinars, our next few webinars and training workshops and all the things coming up. Um, and we will... Don't worry, Amy, if you pay within the next hour, I'm sure she'll include you in that because we know sometimes things happen. I'm speaking for Karin here, but she gave me a thumbs up. So um, head on over to womeninpublishingsummit.com forward slash events. Check out all the other wonderful things that we have coming up. Our next webinar in this series is one on Twitter spaces, which is completely new to me. So I am super excited to learn all about this. And we will see you all either in one of the groups, one of the webinars or via email. So have a great day. And thanks again so much, Karen. We appreciate you. Thank you, everyone. And thank you so much, Alexa. I appreciate it. Bye. Bye.